All right. Let's dig in. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I have another John Buscema, uh, Alfredo Alcala piece from a Conan magazine that I want to study. I can never figure out if if Alfredo Alcala the Inker um, used a nib or a or a brush or something in between. Um, I'm really curious though, but I'm gonna try to do the best I can to kind of study this. Um, Alcala is really line heavy and I love it because I'm currently doing a, a black and white book. Um, so I want it to be line heavy where if I was expecting the work to be colored I would leave room for the color but if not then really all the all the tone and values are happening through through line my old trusty brush that we used last time yeah it's a softer line it's Feels so good. If you're hearing background noises, by the way, I apologize. It's a lot of stuff going on upstairs. So I've uh, penciled this in because I didn't want to spend too much time figuring out the composition. I know no one really cares about how much time I spend here. Um, but I get self-conscious when I'm quiet and trying to figure out something for a long, long time. Um, also, because it's a bigger piece I thought it's gonna take a while anyway so I didn't want to take but as you can see like my pencils are very very loose they're not we're really just doing they were just guidelines I'm changing a few things because like I don't want to completely render how it's been rendered I'm trying to copy the value structure not the line for line and that's really how you study is like you get you you're trying I'm trying to understand how somebody used the logic behind the decisions that they made trying to kind of trace back the decision making process and making similar decisions to solve problems um, but without losing yourself because you still want to be, you don't want to be a clone of another artist. I tried that. Um, it's never as good as the original artist and there's no reason for people, not even yourself, to look at that stuff. So it can be pretty addicting because it makes you feel like you did something good and it brings your confidence back up because when you go out on a limb and try to do something original it's you haven't found your footing so it's not going to be as good in, at first and it's just discouraging so you go back to something comfortable um but sticking with it is is what's going to make results do, 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 no, 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 no.
I like not using lines at all sometimes to define the edge of a of a figure. Allergies are killing me. Hey, if you're watching this, um, can you comment where you're from? I'm curious who's tuning in and from where. And whether you do art or not, that would be curious about that because I don't know if. I'm just curious. Okay, I want to get to know where is Barry from here. Where everyone is from. I like that core shadow, kind of put in a thicker line to contain the lines in here. It's a cool effect. All right. So he's got his feet under water here. I want to make a little distortion. And maybe we'll blacking the water out later because it's a dark time scene. And we're going up the steps here. This marker is dying, but I, and it's not dying in a good kind of way like the other one is. That one just has a wider, softer nip. Gonna put a shadow he's casting right here and then I'll cast a shadow on most of the stairs. So as they get darker, I might start using other tools. And just want to keep the edge of each step a little bit highlighted so we know we still have an idea that we're taking one step after another. Maybe have the shadow come down like that. Um, and for the rest, we'll have like a not as dark a value so we can still distinguish between 
of this step and that step. And these are like stone steps, so they shouldn't be they shouldn't be pristine and perfect because that's just not how stone steps are built. Sometimes to break the boringness of something that's solid, you kind of kind of stitch your lines like this. Let's see if. Honestly, there might be a part two of this because the rendering might take a while. I'm going to keep this at a, a 20 minute interval. So just get a sense of direction, kind of give a little indication like I want to give the feeling that there's water coming down here. Okay. Um, where are we at? Not bad. We're making good time. We'll have a kind of puff of smoke come down here and a bunch of to balance the composition out. And it's, this is, I'm not coming up with this. This is what's in the original one. Gonna start working on these rocks, but I'm just gonna put in the highlights first. Honestly, and it might mean blackening this thing out. See, I know I'm getting impatient now because I'm starting to lose care. And that's usually an indication for me that I should stop. Also, Sharpe. Let's actually fill this area right. It's in the foreground and it's a night scene. So we want to keep it dark in here.
We can get a smaller Sharpie in. See, right now I'm just grabbing whatever tools are in front of me. Sharpie has like a weird tint of black. It's not like an India mark, mark, uh, India ink black. So it gives a different kind of purpley vibe. But we're trying to just blacken an area real quick. Now, instead of spending so much time frigging out how to, I might just come in, that one is not working. I might just come in with a whiteout and start fixing this. Because I want just I don't want this to be solid black. I want to show direction of the rock. Like this one is going like this and this one is coming here. Do you know what I mean? And now if I'm doing this as a finish, oh man, look what I did. I'd be more careful. See, that's what I get for being impatient. Just messed up my nice little foam mat. So not using Sharpies on streams no more, that's for sure. Okay, so gonna be doing the rest in part two, so Hang in there, that's probably gonna come in tomorrow and finish this up. So, if you wanna see previous ones, this is the one we did last week and the week before we did this. So if you like these, look at the most recent videos. Um, I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you all in part two, yeah? So, I hope everybody enjoys the weekend if you're seeing this all the weekend. Bye.